again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the colony. We are building some great things and preparing for eventual uh, repair of our gate after our previous attack in our last episode. So welcome back, everybody, to Surviving the Aftermath. You guys have been awesome, so thanks for supporting the series. Always building, always improving, always making changes, and it's always good to see you all back here. So thank you very much for the support, as always. We're having our people uh, trying to scavenge anything that's uh, basically quote-unquote free around us that uh, we can just bring back to camp. After a pandemic has finished, we are now going to reallocate our labor towards things like food production, and we're going to start having some of our uh, scouts and whatnot start beating up all the bandits around here and start clearing the way. So it's good to have you all here. Thank you very much for all the support, as always. And uh, get excited for continuation of the series as we're about to start getting vehicles. We've had plenty of attacks at the, at the base, but now we're starting to clean up our act at the base. And we're going to start bringing some vehicles back so we can transport our people around a little faster. Shutting down all the tents now so we have some extra workers. We're going to get those guys focused on the environmental station next as soon as that is ready to go. Which it is. We have three people now ready to clean up everything around the camp. So let's go ahead and start getting that stuff done. And we'll also research rubber scrubbers next, so that way we can do it a lot faster. Perfect. All right, very good. So specialists are ready to go back on the main map. It's awesome how quickly we're bringing back materials. We're going to try to quickly see what's around us, and then bring back all the materials from bandit camps that are nearby, too, and start our trading operations. We're going to get a higher reputation if we clear these camps and start trading with people around us, like Dead Creek and Mall Town. So we'll get to that eventually. Not everything has to be done at once. We can always do things in little waves, and that'll be just fine for us. We got two medical, uh, two people at the medical tents, which is great. And uh, now everyone else is free to transport stuff around or build, so that's good too. And also, uh, we're starting to produce some electricity, which is holding 2,000 uh, watts of electricity, or whatever you want to call it. And it's going good so far. I think we need another environmental station out there, but we want to clear this area for farming. We need to do some more food, and that's going to be a good area to do it. Let's jump back to the world map. And see Rosie there just standing by. We'll get to her in a little bit. As uh, she's not really a fighter, we kind of need her to sit idle for now. Alright, looks like a well has been polluted. We'll have to work on that shortly. Let's go ahead and see if what's down here. Let's see if we can clear this bandit camp. Nice work. And we'll have Rosie jump in there and grab what seems to be a bunch of... Oh, co oh it's crickets or something. I thought it was like cockroaches. Well, whatever. We'll bring everything back and see what we can do. Oh, money. That's a good thing to find, too. Excellent. We'll uh, work from destination to destination with those two now clearing the area. I did forget that we needed to bring back some fuel, maybe? Good. And uh, let's see. Oh, looks like some uh, colon colonists turned hostile. Oh, no. We've got a mutiny. Okay. Luckily, we have our specialist nearby. Where is he? There he is, our guy in camp. Uh, colonist under attack, help them any way you can. Well polluted, we need to get that up and running. That's why we're trying to clear these areas out quickly. So we're going to clear out these two toxic areas. Let's actually move the work area. Jeez, I feel like I want to build another environmental center. And they require 12 power. Kind of want to build another one of those just to make them function as quickly as possible. Alright, rubber scrubbers are done, so now... We clean at 20% faster. All right, back to food now. Let's hire another person uh, for line cooks so we can cook meals twice as fast. And uh, we're mostly focused now on food production, getting really uh, scared about not having enough food and uh, decontaminating everything too, which explains why we built so many and are cleaning so many buildings at the same time. Oh, good. Some of these areas are clear now for another farm. And we'll need some more uh, seeds at some point. Something like carrots or uh, soybeans or something would be great in the, in the colony. Specialist ready on the main map again. Oh, here we have uh, some rare components. Let's grab those. Nice to see. So it's uh, considered in the game to be rare metals, but to me it looks like uh, really high-end components or something. Let's have the dock stop at the gas station. Great thing about... Uh, bringing in gas now is that we can actually re repair a car, which we'll get to very shortly. We do have one up there, but we will need to have all the stuff researched for it. So for now, we're just going from door to door with Rosie and, uh, and our fighter here to try to clear out some of these bandit camps. Bring back some more valuable materials. I like how we can have somebody back at camp, too. I really like that. To defend, just in case. Okay, let's add, mm -hmm. let's add another cook. There we go. 
and let's add a another set of research. Let's see. Eh, anything under food? No. Anything under production? Maybe. Logistics increases that. Uh, scavengers. Ah, we can actually increase the works capacity of the recycler and the uh, and the uh, scrapper right now, but that's not needed at the moment. Power saws, apprentices. Ah, increased uh, durability to wind turbines would be good. Let's go with that. Less repair means more parts, which means we can build more of those. And parts are hard to, hard to come by until we get the workshop, which can take scrap and turn it into a building material, basically. Wandering Merchant is here. Hello, sir. He will give us, wow, 183 research. Clothing or venison? I will take the research, though we don't really need it, but... Or can we do medicine? Let's see. No, medicine's fine. Oh, I wish we had antibiotics for another... Uh, Pandemic. Ooh, clothes are very low. We'll need to make ourselves a tailor now, so let's get that started. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a tailor then. We've got plenty of fiber in storage, so a tailor certainly would be a welcome sight now. So let's throw that down maybe right here. Perfect. We didn't need it since we were bringing in so many clothes before, but now that our colony is almost up over 30 people, and uh, probably could use to build some more homes, too. We built our first uh, tenement here, which is awfully close to the contamination. Let's build ourselves another tenement building. Tenements are good to start with. They're better than nothing, better than the emergency tents. Okay, let's grab the rest of those components there. And let's have the dock head on back to base, maybe? I think this is about as far as we want to go without having a vehicle, so we'll try to focus on bringing vehicles back now. As soon as these two are done with that, I think there's another vehicle up here too. Yep, right there. So we'll try to bring those two back. But again, we need to be able to research repairing those. Right, let's bring her right here. Okay, she'll bring back a lot of fiber for us too, so that means clothing will be not a problem. Ooh, one of the worst things in this game from long ago was gathering fiber and making clothing. It was almost impossible to keep up with clothes and tools, but now... They've certainly made it a lot more uh, realistic, I think. A lot simpler to do. Let's build, make corn this time. Too bad we can't research, like, other types of uh, food. Oh, quality capacitors. Durability plus 40 for the battery rack. Yeah, let's make sure we've increased the uh, durability of some of this stuff because it'll be hard to, to come by at some point. Uh, looks like we've lost somebody in the colony, so let's have one person as a gatherer right now. Or as they call them, uh, carriers, which they also build. They're just basically a random handyman at that point. We also need to get rid of this nuclear uh, waste at some point, too. And it looks like... Well, oh, they just cleared that. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be a horrible area to clear. At least we're pushing the toxicity away from the camp. Wow, they researched that really fast. The uh, battery durability is complete. Okay, let's have you return to the colony. And, Doc, you can grab the pills. And let's go ahead and fight some more bandits. Whoa! Knocked him out with one punch. Uh-oh. Well, now we've got another uh, camp to clear, but this time it's research. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see. I think we'll get ready to move to this one here. We'll clear that out and leave that for the Doc, since... Uh, He'll be the best one to actually gather uh, knowledge from that area. Okay, so lots of pollution to clear out up there. Then we'll start clearing out the pollution here. And we'll use this area up here for homes once we cut down all the wood. Another tenement complete, giving our people um, about... I think in total we probably have about 20 more uh, slots for homes, to be honest. Ah, good. Let's see, we could trade fiber for parts or... Ooh, I, I really need components at this point. Let's continue to trade for parts, though. So we'll trade some fiber. That's easy. We'll need to get components from somewhere on the map or trading. It's another thing, too, is that we actually can do trading. Some are without clothes. Let's make sure we're making... Oh, that right. that's right. We need to build a warehouse now to store that stuff. So now we can store tools and clothing at the warehouse. And we'll also have to store nuclear waste somewhere nearby, too. Put a little warehouse there. And we'll put a waste dump somewhere away from the camp, like uh, over here. There we go. 
Okay. Specialist ready on the map. I wonder if we could just have him swing through and grab some of those pills. Nice. Doc, you grab the rest. Cool. Both of them together have cleared that out. Okay, let's uh, continue to move north. Maybe we can scout around while we wait for the fighter. He's going to try to clear these two sites now. Wow. Two first tries. Nice work. And that contains 600 research. Man, we have all the research for the rest of the game. Speaking of research, let's do something next. Let's see that some of the earlier research we can do for food. What would aquaculture do? Oh, we can actually build a fish farm now. Cool. Maintenance on that is uh, just fiber. Hmm. Well, that certainly would help a lot of our food problems. Let's do that. I still feel like we have a food problem because as soon as we get our population starting to grow, as soon as people are having children more frequently, uh, it's going to become a big problem. Uh, to keep up with their, their, their food consumption. Alright, we are now building a warehouse. All the materials have been delivered for that. And all that nuclear waste must be being delivered too somewhere. It seems to be disappearing. I wonder where it's going if they're not... Oh, somebody's standing on it. That's why. Okay, back to the camp. Let's send these two back. Lots of good stuff to bring back. And let's do some more scouting and some more clearing of enemies. Oh, nothing here except for concrete. That's a welcome sight. Looks like we're running low on wood. We'll need a uh, lumber mill at some point. Unfortunately, we're low on population. Food comes first, though. So we'll try to put all of our people in towards uh, gathering that stuff. I wonder why yields are low. Oh, it's because the uh, corn isn't yet fully growing. Oof. There must be a building to auto-decontaminate. I wonder if the um, environmental station will do it once we're done. At least we're gaining all this stuff out of here and the town will be relatively safe from pollution. Alright, warehouse is done now. Ah, traditions of love. A young woman is seeking your counsel. She has fresh wildflowers in her hair and a sweet crooked smile. She sighs and points to a mud-covered colonist with a stench of sweat so strong could carry for miles. There goes the gal of my dreams. Tell me what tradition, uh, traditional way to, you know, propose. Um, ew, a pendant made of toenails? Roasted wild boar or a crown of wildflowers? She has fresh wildflowers in her hair. Uh, go, go with the boar, I guess? You remember an old saying about the path the heart being to the stomach? That has to be as she runs off with a gift for her beloved. Okay. I guess it's just a puzzle as to guessing what that other lady wanted. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, researching agriculture's or aquaculture is almost done. Scientists, specialists are ready for action. Good. Let's send these two back. And let's keep exploring. Hmm. Bandits on a helicopter usually indicates that there's a. Uh, it's usually medical stuff, so biotics could be there. It's like a crashed medical helicopter. What I really want to find, and that's probably more pharmaceuticals. So that's probably like an old hospital, so that's good. I really want to find more components, though. We're only down to four. And that'll stop us from building any more buildings that produce or consume electricity. For the most part. Alright, more research to choose. Okay, what do we have next? Better size. Food has been researched for quite a bit. Yeah, let's, let's speed up harvest speed, and then we'll start focusing on uh, maybe colony. Ah, yeah, that's right. We can actually increase the uh, happiness inside the camp, too, if we do some of that stuff. Though bartering would be unlocked and helpful for trading, although that's kind of more of an end game thing. Once we've gathered everything for free, then it's a good idea to start trading. So we don't really need much at all, except for some wood, and that's just going to require some more hands on the camp. How are we doing over here? The uh, the old waste dump is almost done. About a fourth of the way completed on construction. Alright. Alright, back to our scientists. Oh, good. Yeah, come on back, boys, and start... Uh, 
start bringing stuff back. Alright, let's beat up these bandits. Man, this guy is a champion, dude. He is such a good fighter. Oh, and there's some wonderful uh, biotics right there. Antibiotics. Beautiful. Oh, man, this area's got to be loaded with medicine. This is great for if we ever hit a pandemic. If anybody ever wants to trade with us, we're good to go for medicine. That's a big deal. I will right, we'll wait for some of our specialists to heal up. Give them like a day. Hmm, more pollution there. Man, everything constantly has to be uh, prepared and cleaned. Scavenger teams. No, we need more. We need more manpower. So maybe we could focus on colony for happiness. Matt, that might actually force them to have more children. Which could, in the, in the end, uh, increase our population. Because right now we're looking at a total of two children. So if we can increase that, we'll have more people coming into the colony. Well, either being born into the colony or coming into the colony over time. Alright, back into the camp. Soon. Soon. Alright, so we have two windmills turning at 16 plus power. I wonder if there's anything else I could do to produce something with power. We have our maintenance depot. Automates repair tasks. But that doesn't do anything for cleaning, unfortunately. Alright, let's keep grabbing stuff. How good are you at scavenging? He is a level 4 scavenger. That's good. Nice. Oh, and money, too. Wow, beautiful. Tons of antibiotics claimed by those two. Good team. Those two work together really well. Okay. Just need to bring in some wood. Oh, I uh, suppose I could tell whoever's free. Although they're mostly working on construction projects now to just gather free wood off the ground. I haven't worked to optimize labor just because we're seeing so many people working in different jobs. That they're not actually gathering anything. We need more labor at this point. Good. Interior walls have been unlocked, and it looks like there's a group of survivors at the gate. Ah, beautiful. Three adults and another uh, scientist. Bishop. Excellent. Come on in, then. Oh, it looks like two of them went crazy. It's weird when that happens. Were they... Bishop, are you... He's, like, not even walking. Wow, he almost got killed. That's weird when, like, people come in like that. They're, like, they're like uh, posing or something like that. I always feel like they followed uh, the specialist to the gate, and then as soon as the gate opens, they try to jump us, but the specialist had nothing to do with it. Okay, we'll let him heal up. Let's we'll send our other specialist out. Rico, head to the world map. And we'll move you to the... Hmm. Anywhere to get components? Let's Let's scout a little bit. Let's go this way. We'll bring back cars later. Yeah. Alright, Bishop is about halfway healed up. Doc, you could head back to the map too. To Looks like he's at 80%, but I only want the Doc to go and do some basic stuff, like scouting. I just want to explore the world map as soon as possible. Okay, what do we got going on now? Okay, we got all these things being filled up. Deposits are being depleted. Hope that's on pollution. Nope, still three big deposits of pollution to go. Four, actually. Okay. Yes, I am. Let's go ahead and have the fighter swoop in. Ooh. First time he had a little trouble. But he almost whooped him. She can attack, though. Let's give this a shot. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Okay, well, she cleared him. I zoomed in. <laughs> so we have medical stuff here and then probably more. Yep, biotics right there. You can see it. I didn't know it actually showed it, but yeah, I was right based on the building. Okay, well, some medical supply run is a great deal. Let's go ahead and keep on mining with metals. Eventually, we'll have to start going underground, so we'll have to research that at some point. Speaking of, let's see what else we can do. 
Let's see. Remembrance. Oh, pavement. Now ah, we have paved roads. Guardians. Hostile animals or people. That's good. Education might be good, though, for increasing our effectiveness later. I think we should go with Colony to try to attract more people and also to uh, keep them happier. Yeah, let's do roof supports to make those tenant buildings a little more effective. And yeah, let's continue to scout. Good. Ooh, Isaac has died. Killed in combat. That's interesting. We had two occupants. Who? Where did he... Oh, what the hell? Oh, boy. Some giant roaches up there. Wonder why our people were going all the way up there. Oh, yes, of course. We were gathering supplies. That's why. Oh, boy. Water well is now polluted. Probably not a good idea to have that next to the eco station, but... Really, we're limited in our space and where we can put things. Yeah, so we got killed by a giant roach. Okay, let's see if we can grab some of the materials here. She takes a hit. Man, we got lots of coins to trade with, though. And so does he. Medicine, not really worth it, though. We do have 60, so it's not really that, that needed. We'll go fight at the hospital, though. Eh, more metal, that's a welcome sight. And more parts, that's also welcome. Although I wish we had components instead. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you not go, sir? I'm try. Okay, he's gonna die. Hmm, Jacob's dead now. Trying to, like, tell them to come back, but they... Once they identify that an enemy is nearby, they go and attack. Okay, we're going to have to get some people uh, off the cleanup team and onto other jobs. I need to get some free hands to gather some more materials. Wow, more colonists are dying in combat. Alright, we better research than the uh, Guardians. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Remembrance has to be researched first, though. No, it doesn't. Centralized repair was good. Guards are the backbone of the defending the colony against hostile animals or people. Assign them to guard posts, and they'll focus on protecting fellow colonists. All right, that's going to be a good thing to do. We'll need workers for it, though. All right, no, nobody's going to die due to radioactive roaches anymore. Okay, let's bring back some more... Mm, I think we should try to clear this area up here. We'll have him make another move. Okay, uh, let's see. We got metal. That's good. And the dock. You can grab some parts, I suppose. You know what? I'm going to actually skip the parts. Let's go and scout what's down here. If we find components, they're usually stored in an area where nobody's really paying attention to them. There's usually not too much of a fight over that. All right. Hopefully, we can get some more colonists back. Let's actually get another person to the gate. I'm going to start focusing more on security now. Now we're going to lose another colonist. I couldn't even instruct that person to come back. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any way to command them. Let's see. So we have another person who's under attack. Joseph here is kicking butt. I cannot command him at all. So I guess the weapons that we're bringing back to the camp are made use with the guardians and not the actual... Um, not the uh, specialist, as I was hoping. If we lose more people, we're already working to address it, as we're about ready to have ourselves uh, a guard post, so that'll be good. Wow, we have 288 food. That's great. Specialists ready for action. Too bad specialists can't be turned back into regular workers. It'd be nice that if a specialist was back and fully healed, that they could actually do something useful like farming. That'd be more helpful for us. Accidentally zoomed in again. Well, there's another building that's cleaned. Good. Now we have more uh, biotics to bring back. Metal's clear. Good. Searching for components. 
We have a nuclear power plant for research and more roaches. Okay. Don't really need any of that, but we're okay. Nora's getting injured now. Oh boy. Need somebody working here. Nothing's being cleaned up anymore. We need more people working here. Let's lower our food production of fishing and uh, trapping. I think we have plenty of meats. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, plenty of meat. We can actually shut that stuff down for a while. Okay, let's get a guardian post up. Now, I think the guardians can actually go out to locations where they're needed. So if we build a guard post, like... Oh, are you kidding me? Another nuclear fallout coming in? Jeez. Well, let's build a guard post there. And we'll tell our people to go out and guard the uh, areas where we're gathering. It'd be kind of nice if we could... Yeah, we can set them on patrol areas to actually guard where our people are. So let's build two of those posts. Religious fanatics march towards us. Hi there. Uh, goad the fanatics to attack, insult their costume party. Uh, let's do that one. That sounds interesting. Uh, they won't. Okay. They, yeah. Prepare to be cleansed. Okay. They're attacking us and they're dead. Yep. Yeah, no shock there. Raptorius victorious, victorious yet again. Beautiful. Cannot be stopped. Raptoria is too powerful. We've survived too many attacks. Okay, let's grab those antibiotics and we'll head back to base. As soon as they're gathered up. Okay, let's keep looking around. Keep scouting. And we have more rare metals and nothing here. Okay. Totally fine with that. Right, now we got nuclear fallout coming, so you know what that means. Let's grab some more uh, biotics. Antibiotics, that is. Ooh, and money too. Good. We'll start trading with that stuff shortly. Okay, good. That clears out all that. Okay, let's keep scouting uh, south. Okay, well, all the research we would ever need is pretty much down here now. And we'll probably go to that source first, because it's 600. We'll probably have the Doc also do some research while he's here. Okay. And we got Pinkman here. I wish I could put Pinkman on, like, auto-clear. Be nice if, if you left a specialist behind. It'd be really nice just to leave them at the camp to deal with animals. But I guess we'll just do that with our guards now. So let's finally send him to the world map. We haven't needed him much at all, so let's do that and repair the gate. And we'll send him to go clear out some bandit camps in the east. Cool. All right, very good. Oh, yes, I forgot we have our other scientist here, too. Are you feeling good? Yes. Okay, we'll send him out there as well. And that way we should be able to get more of the research done in the south, I believe. is where our best location is. Or actually, no, we'll go north. Good. All right, good. We got lots of people out to gather tons of materials for us. We just mostly need now wood, but in order to gather that, we need more people in the in the colony. We've taken some hits due to uh, animals attacking us, which is not the uh, end of the world. It's better than being destroyed by raiders. Bring these two back. They got lots of materials. Another bandit camp. These two can barely attack. So let's try to go for that research site next. Clear the bandit camp. And go to the research site. Okay, very good. Yeah, we just need more colonists to come to the gate, but uh, at this point, I guess the only thing we can do now is just have tenement buildings rise up. Oh yes, and the nuclear fallout. You don't have clothing? Uh, you should, ma'am. We've got over 15 in storage. Oh, I also forgot to uh, harvest the crops before the... Uh-oh. Uh I forgot to hit that harvest button. Oh, we're at 300. We're totally fine. 
Well, while we do that then, let's just get everybody off this. This will take a while and it'll kill the crops so they can restart later. And since we have so much food, what I think I will do is we'll have only these two farms functioning, which require six people. And what is that? A windmill of some sort? Ooh, group of survivors are at the gate. Good timing as usual. We got Wheeler here, a good scavenger. And four adults. Perfect. Wheeler, you head back out to that work area. Boom. Okay. Well, now that we have more colonists, we'll focus on the food as soon as the fallout is over. In the meantime, let's focus on clearing up these areas. Luckily, nuclear fallout doesn't really provide much of any problem for that. That doesn't make that problem worse. Oh, and let's get our tents up and running. There we go, we'll increase our max capacity. And we should have iodine pills ready, right? Yes, 23 in fact. Good. Okay, one more run. Let's have you come back. We're bringing everybody back now. I think we'll finish up with this research too. Beautiful. All the research is done there. Bandit camp. More research. Over 2,000. Very soon. And Wheeler. Let's have you go with these guys to clear out the rest of the camps over there. Alright, I'm glad we have so many specialists with us now. A lot of people out, out, out doing their best. Water well polluted. Let's get that fixed up. I wonder, is that what this is? Polluted here? Shows a windmill over it. Oh, it's, it's shut down because of the disaster. That's what it is. Okay. Okay, a few more people being irradiated. But well, we should be able to give them all a place to go. Yeah, every, every little tent here has a place for somebody. Alright, back to the world map. Return. Return. Let's have you two return as well. Let's get everyone back to the hundo. Back to 100% health. And then we'll worry about bandits again. Mm. Yeah, this guy mo- Ooh, he has a little bit of attack. Okay, let's keep him out here. And Wheeler, Pinkman, and everyone else can go this way. And start clearing out those camps. All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see an end to the series soon as we're starting to reach some of the end game stuff, make sure you smash that like button and I'll keep the series on rolling. So thank you as always for your support. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being the best community on YouTube. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye.